can either be completely off or you can do a recovery ride that's an hour or less at no more than recovery pace. We have our interval days after the recovery days when we're the freshest with some steady state intervals done at 95% of FTP and the rest of the week is zone two endurance riding. With right, so you often hear Dylan Johnson and maybe some other people say that you shouldn't really do more than two high intensity days per week. He sort of says like, you know, in his training plans often that, that he does on his videos that, you know, you do two days of intensity per week, the rest zone two. Now, it's an interesting topic because it... You know, in the science, people seem to say that is the optimal way and there's always this uh, a lot of studies about it. But the question is, what do pros actually do? Obviously, most people watching this video probably aren't pros, but I find it kind of interesting to see if that's actually what they do. Because from what I've seen, it's very much not what they do. So here is Matt Heyman's. Now, this is a really good um, article, actually, about loads of different stuff. But it goes through some of his training. So we get a, a snapshot of his training piece. Now, this obviously was a Zwift ride, but let's, so there's a recovery ride here. This is some intervals here. This is some endurance in the morning, intervals in the afternoon. Okay, they're only strength endurance, but even so, definitely not zone two. And then this is his long, like, you know, steady, like six, five hour ride on the turbo. Then he has another rest day. And then again, strength uh, endurance intervals early on. And you can see there's some more threshold intervals here as well. So you can see that's four days of intensity in a week. Obviously, it's a two. He does three days on, one day off, most probably. But even so, that goes to show that in reality, um, it's pretty, pretty not the case that people are doing two days of intensity a week. Now, this is Matt Heyman in December twenty fifteen in base season as well. And again, we can go through how many days of intensity. Obviously, it's three day block, so it's kind of like a bit ruined. But with this, you can see there's four hours, um, easy here. Uh, then you can see rest day. Then he does progressive climbs two by eleven. So you can see these are written at sort of like 75% uh, of threshold with some motor pacing and then 2 by 11 progression as well. Um, we look at the next day, spike tempo plus threshold climbing. So again, that's that's some big intervals. Friday day off. And then again, you can see um, some intensity here and then a big uh, six hours easy ride. So again, we can kind of see here as well, like he's not doing um, just two days of intensity a week uh, at all. And then I've documented a lot of professionals training. This is Tade Pogacar's training. This is kind of carnage though, because I don't have every day. But what you can see is that <clears throat> he's doing a lot of efforts in a week. Like he's just three days of intensity in a week, um, 400 watts for half an hour. Um, you can see there. And then on the 27th, he then does again, like the day after, 200 watts for two hours and then does six minutes of 480. So you can see even back to back days, he's doing intensity. Um, and that it's definitely not like, just two days of intensity and the rest of noodling that's for sure not what pros are doing whether you should copy that or not maybe is different but you can see here he does like again the 13th is doing some intensity then to be fair he does four hours zone two um on the day after and then this is quite hard as well but again it's kind of hard to tell because in reality it's um not great because he doesn't upload that often but if we look at damian damiano caruso um, you can see early on, okay, for sure, he's doing some easier rides. And then you can see here, like, four and a half hours with tempo, five and a half hours low cadence. Monday, he has no power data, but again, does some low cadence effort. Then he does some 20, 30, six hours easy. And I think that's the thing. If you look at he does three-day blocks, it's kind of like, the first day is always some going to be some intensity. So you can see some intensity here, five hours zone two, and then some more intensity on the Sunday. I've been through this a fair few times, but it's kind of interesting to see. Even if we move on to, like, February now, Again, you can see this week here, there's not really very many easy days. There's a, two recovery rides. That has got a lot of intervals. That's got a lot of intervals. That has six hours, okay, but there's a good hour at 315 watts, which isn't crazy for them, but it's still, like, decent. And then, again, you can see Saturday does some tempo and intensity as well. Um, we also look on this day as well, some TT efforts um, on the TT bike. And then, to be fair, this is actually a race, so kind of useless. But... Even so, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the guys who are racing at the top level in cycling are not doing um, necessarily as many easy days as people say they are. Um, again, this is the big prep to uh, for the for the Giro. And again, you can see like does some big, big days here and efforts like back to back to back, um, which is kind of confusing because everyone is like, oh, yeah, like if you do too many efforts, you're going to burn out. But then you look at all these guys and they like crack them out like no tomorrow. I mean, look at this three day block. That was absolutely horrendous. Four and a half hours does some sort of tempo thresh.
threshold here, not crazy amounts. And then four by six at 400 watts um, in five hours with some other intervals. And then four hours here, you can see some 20 second sprints, six minute over-unders and 10 minute 40 20s. Like, that is pretty grim, isn't it? Like, you know, that's a big three day block. And, you know, that's not necessarily as polarized or uh, as like pyramidal as people will say. It's actually realistically, there's quite a lot of intensity going on here. It's just that the rides are so long that it's kind of like it adds up. So if you look to the train uh, intensity distribution overall, it would look kind of normal. Um, but again, you can see like build up to the Giro or this is actually build up to Romandy. Again, efforts, easy, efforts, easy, efforts, efforts. That's rough. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, what should people do, I guess? If you're an amateur, maybe probably don't do more than three days, but... I reckon like the two days of intensity that he recommends may be not optimal um, for all people.